Hello and welcome to another maths tutorial supporting Upper University students studying the module TM112 Introduction to Computing and Information Technology Part 2. This tutorial is looking at decimal fractions and converting them into binary numbers. Uh, this is a technology course. We're technologists and we don't really care where the number system really came from. We just tend to use the tools of the trade. But we often forget that you know the counting system, the number system, the mathematics that we use are thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. Right from the very start, early civilizations needed a technique by which they could sell cattle, so we had to count them, or we had to uh, measure volumes of grain or wine or whatever it might be. The early Egyptians had a storage system called the Hikat, which is roughly about five litres, which is quite large. And so they needed a mechanism by which they could subdivide this into smaller fractions, smaller components uh, for distribution. And their way of dividing it up, they used a counting system that's very, very familiar to us. Here's something called the Eye of Horus. Horus was an Egyptian god, and this is a very religious symbol. And the various components can be represented by the fractions a half, a quarter, an eighth, a sixteenth, a thirty-second, and a sixty-fourth. So this was their fractional part for subdivision of a volume of grain. So this is over 5,000 years old, this particular technique. So you see, you know, 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians were using a binary system. Their system was based on the pars of two. So a half, a quarter, an eighth, etc. We can represent that as one over two, one over two squared, one over two cubed, etc. And we saw from the maths of TM111 that if I have a reciprocal like this, one over two, one over two squared, I can represent that as a negative number. So two to the power of minus one means it's one over two. Two to the power of minus three means it's one over two cubed, which is one over eight and eighth. And two to the power of minus six is one over two to the power of six, which is a sixty-fourth. And you see, we've already got our binary system built into this uh, mechanism here. Just like uh, if you imagine a decimal point and looking at numbers to the left of the decimal point, we know in binary, we start off with two to the zero, uh, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, and we keep adding those powers as we go to the uh, left and they're positive powers. And now as we go to the right for uh, decimal parts, we're going to be using two to the power of a negative number. Two, so two to the power of minus one, two to the power of minus two, two to the power of minus three, etc. So my binary numbers head to the right of my decimal point in their fractional form. Now the Egyptians realized uh, quite early on that they can make up almost any fraction by a combination, by adding these various components together, they could make up a much bigger uh, fractional series. And that's what we're going to be doing with these reciprocal numbers and we're going to be making up we're going to be making up our decimal numbers by adding together all these various components all these various small fractional parts so let's have a look at a very simple technique now this is not covered in the module materials but i think it's a very very simple technique to use to convert a decimal fraction into a binary decimal number the technique is very simple we take the fraction and we keep multiplying it by two and we keep taking the fractional part of the number we get and we keep multiplying that by two until we end up with zero. As we multiply by two, the number to the left of the decimal point at each stage contributes to the final binary number. So let's have a look at a, uh, an example. Let's take a, a fraction that we know the various components of that. We know something like 0.75 is 0.5 plus 0 0.25. 0 0.5 is a half, 0 0.25 is a quarter, so a half plus a quarter is three quarters, and that's what 0.75 is. So we already know the components of 0.75, but let's have a look how we calculate that using this technique. So let's take the original decimal fraction and multiply it by two, and I get the answer 1.5. Capture the one to the left of the decimal point, Take the fractional part, 0.5, multiply it by two. I get the answer of 1.00. I capture the, the, the number to the left of the decimal point, the one, 
and the fractional part is now zero. And that is the end of this particular algorithm. We've reached the end. So I can say now that the uh, decimal a fraction 0.75 can be represented by the binary decimal 0.11. And just to check, we can see that the first one represents a half and the second one represents a quarter. A half plus a quarter equals 0.75, three quarters. So nice little technique. Let's take another decimal number, decimal fraction 0.625 and apply the technique. So multiply it by two, I get the answer 1.25. Capture the one, take the fractional part, 0.25, multiply it by two, I get the answer of 0 0.50. Capture the zero, the fractional part is 0.5, multiply it by two, 1.00. Capture the one, the fractional part is zero, zero. So we've come to the end of our algorithm. And I can say now that the binary decimal representation of the uh, decimal fraction 0.625 is 0.101. So we can nicely convert our fractions in decimal notation into a decimal in binary notation by successive multiplication by two. A very simple technique. However, sometimes the simplest things are the most difficult. Let's take a very simple uh, decimal fraction 0 0.1 and apply this technique and you see we're multiplying by two on three or four occasions there before we actually get out of zero and so we've captured three zeros in the binary decimal part there uh, then we finally get 1.6 so again we'll keep the one multiply the 0.6 uh, by two I get 1.20 capture the one and uh, I then end up with uh, 0.4, I capture the 0.4, I get 0.8, and then I capture the 0.8, I get 1.6 again, and 0 0.6, I get 1.20 again. And you can see that I'm beginning to get a repetition here. I'm beginning to get a repetition. My number is beginning to repeat itself. I got the 0.2 as a remainder at the top, and I'm getting 0.2 and 0.2 appearing all the way through this calculation. So this doesn't stop. This is what we call an infinite binary fraction. And we just have to have to accept in uh, our computer technologies that certain fractions are not represented exactly in binary numbers. Now, of course, uh, this does have consequences uh, if we are adding together uh, certain of these numbers which are not uh, represented exactly because we will get errors in our final calculations. So we should always be very careful in computing, comparing uh, floating point numbers, real numbers, uh, as opposed to integer numbers. Integer numbers are exact, but uh, fractional numbers with decimal points in them, etc. We have to be very, very careful in our calculations if we want to compare one value to the next, because although mathematically it might be correct, uh, because of the binary representation on computers, our answers will not be what we expect. So just take care there. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. Just to remind you that uh, I put some of these resources, a copy of the slides for this tutorial and other resources supporting TM112 on the following website. Hope you enjoy the tutorial and uh, see you another time.